Us Brewing Company, craft beer lovers like you and me come to enjoy fresh beer brewed right there. This beer draws its influence from the Southwest as well as around the world. Most of us will come here and enjoy a great time, but a few of us will wake up tomorrow morning wondering what hit us. Both experiences can be summed up with three little letters, A, B, and B. Alcohol by volume. I'm Jeremy Storton. I'm an advanced Cicerone and the host of the Good Beer Matters podcast. I've partnered with Brewery DB to bring you trusted brew knowledge. Trusted Brew Knowledge is a series of videos to help you better understand beer and what to make of it. Today, we're gonna to talk about ABV, what you really need to know about it, and how to use it for the right occasion so every time is a great time. Most of you watching this probably already have a fair amount of experience with craft beer and varying levels of ABV. And that's great, but the question is, do you really know how ABV affects you and what to do with it? If not, let's dive a little deeper. Alcohol is a result of yeast converting sugars into ethanol and CO2. These sugars are measured either by specific gravity from British tradition or by degrees Plato used in other parts of the world. The difference between original gravity or starting Plato and the final gravity and final Plato help brewers determine what percentage of the beer is actually alcohol. Alcohol by volume is simply a percentage of alcohol per the volume of liquid. In the US, we attempt to standardize the amount of alcohol by defining a drink as 12 ounces of 5% beer, a five ounce glass of wine at 12%, and one and a half ounces of a spirit at 80 proof or 40% ABV. The reality is the average beer can be anywhere from 2% to 12% alcohol. And in some beers, even those boundaries are shattered. So how do we use our knowledge of ABV to make every craft beer experience a great one? Well, alcohol affects each of us differently. It's greatly influenced by our size, whether we've eaten, our hydration, our energy, and even our mood. When you know how alcohol affects you and your current state, you can look at the ABV usually found on a bottle or beer menu and plan your evening's beer choices accordingly. You can have a great evening filled with craft beer, and you can also do it without the headache of regret the next morning. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about my rule of twos for ABV, and we're also gonna talk about the beer styles within each ABV range, as well as the perfect occasions to enjoy them. So, grab yourself a beer and stay tuned.